Hey guys, it's Tilly and today I am here with some of the greatest Australian authors you guys need to read. So today is Australia Day, which is quite a controversial day in Australia. It is pretty much also known as Invasion Day, and although I could open a huge can of worms, I'm not going to do that today. In fact, today I'm going to celebrate one of the greatest things to come out of Australia, and that is the great YA Australian authors. I'm going to give you guys a huge list of great books by YA Australian authors, and you guys should read them, spend your money on them, love them, and then move to Australia and we can all party here together. Alright, let's get started. As usual with most of my other videos, when I have a lot of books in them, I won't go into too much detail about the books, but if you guys would like to know more about any of these books, leave a comment below with the title of the book and I'll give you guys like a mini review of it and hopefully you guys will love this. First up we have In Between Days by Vicky Wakefield. I really enjoyed this, it's my first Vicky Wakefield book and I know I will be reading more and yeah, it was it was really good. It kind of re-sparked my love for outdoor cinemas. Melissa Keel has The Incredible Adventures of Cinnamon Girl and also My Life in Outer Space. This is my favourite one by her so far though and I totally recommend it. It's a really fun contemporary so if you guys like that, you should read this. Next up is a huge fantasy series and it is Oban Newton by Isabel Carmody and when I say huge I don't mean it's only widely known, it is also like a huge series. This is the latest latest book released in this series. This is the first one. There you guys have the actual size difference. So like, you know, it's a lot of reading and a huge commitment, but it's totally worth it. I did an interview with the author of this next book and I will leave a link to it below so you guys can go and check it out and learn more about the book as well. But I can tell you guys now it's absolutely amazing and that is Where by Meg Caddy and it's fantastic standalone novel. So it's really good, really quick and you guys know it's going to be all resolved by the end. Sort of. Australia has a bunch of great contemporary authors, and that includes AJ Betts, who wrote Zach and Mia, and AJ Betts is a lot in the book world, so if you guys haven't heard of her, you guys should probably read her book and then just fall in love with her. Next up we have Risk by Fleur Ferris. This is a really good book about online predators, so it's a really good middle grade slash YA book. I met this next author a while ago, and she is absolutely amazing and funny and perfect in every single way, and that is Siobhan Plozer, and she wrote Frankie. And you guys should really read this book, and also keep an eye out for her future ones. Yellow by Jacob Megerson. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. And this is another fantastic book. I always kind of forget to mention this one, but it definitely deserves all the hype that surrounds it. This next one is a trilogy, and I probably wouldn't say it's YA. I'd say it's pretty much more of an, an like an adult series, but it is freaking fantastic. I've talked about it enough for you guys to know that the first book is not very good in my opinion, but the other two in the series are fucking great. And I'm sorry to swear, but it's totally Australian to do it. And that one is Captive Prince by C.S. Packett. And seriously guys, it is such a good series. The first one deals a lot with like sexual abuse and rape and a lot of different triggers. So if you guys are not prepared for that, I don't recommend reading this. But if you guys do, then I highly recommend the series. It is really, really good. This next series is like huge and the authors are both Australian and I very much love them. I really enjoy their books and I've met one one of the authors before and he was absolutely amazing and that is Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff and they wrote the Illuminae files which is Illuminae and Gemini which are released so far. Amy Kaufman also co-wrote the Starbound trilogy and Jay Kristoff is also the author of Nevernight as well. I feel super lucky because I've actually met so many of these authors but this next author when I met her we went out for like dinner afterwards and she was so nice and funny and her books are freaking fantastic and she's just amazing amazing and that is Lynn and Oni who wrote the Akane series. This is part of the Midori Chronicles. The third book, Dracora, comes out soon, which is going to be so good. I highly recommend you guys pick up these books if you guys like real easy fantasy books because they're so good. For this next author, a quick fun fact, she was actually my high school English teacher and she has written some amazing books that are perfect for schools and like middle grade and YA books that help deal with a lot of different problems like anxiety, drugs and depression and bullying and everything like that and she is just fantastic in the way that she writes it. My all time favourite book by her though is Destroying Avalon and that is by Kate McCaffrey. Her other books include In Ecstasy, Crashing Down, Beautiful Monster and also her latest one which is Saving Jazz. Next up we have one of the all time great Australian authors and that is John Marsden who wrote the Tomorrow When the War Began series. This book is made into a film and a TV series and I highly recommend that you guys check out the TV series series because it's actually really really good but they need a bigger audience so they can continue doing more seasons of it and we really really want that so please go and watch it and really enjoy it. Next up we have another really really great author. I have once again met him in person and he is so funny and that one is Wilka Starkus who wrote The Sidekicks and The First Third and if you guys watch my videos enough you know how much I love 
love The Sidekicks. It is one of my all-time favorite books and I highly recommend it. And of course we have my all-time favorite Australian author, the great, the talented, the beautiful me, I mean Marcus Suzak. He wrote the absolutely phenomenal The Book Thief, which I have nine editions of, one is not currently on the shelf. Here at I Am The Messenger, which I currently have four editions of, one is not on the shelf. And lastly, he wrote Underdogs, which is like a three mini book series, which is pretty good, but it's, it's, it's not as good as The Messenger and The Book Thief. But basically, He's fantastic, and if you guys don't know by now, you should definitely read him, and he's one of my all-time favourites. And for my last YA Australian author that I have really enjoyed, it is Melina Marquetta. And Melina Marquetta has so many amazing books, but my favourite of all time would have to be On the Jellicoe Road. A close second would be Looking for Ella Brandy. Then you also have The Piper Sun and Saving Francesca. And she has other series as well, like Finnegan on the Rock, which I haven't even read yet, but I can guarantee that every single book that she writes will be amazing. I know that there are so many more amazing Australian authors out there, but these are just my favourites. You guys should leave a comment below with your favourite Australian authors, and hopefully you guys have a wonderful bookish day and that great things happen to you. Thank you for watching and don't forget to check out my other social media i have my instagram links down below where i share plenty of bookish photos my goodreads where you guys can read my pretty rambling and crazy reviews and also my tumblr blog which has pretty much everything on there hopefully i'll see you guys again next time so basically the first half of this video is going to be me giving you guys tips, tricks and advice on how to booktube and whether you guys should booktube or not. And the second half will be my story on